Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to use Cycles Baking in the Blender Game Engine. So what we're going to be doing is getting a mesh like this. We're going to be adding a texture and then we're going to be baking it all together so it looks really nice like this. Now there is one downside to this and that is if any of these parts move then the illusion of them looking really nice will be broken. So for example here if I go into edit mode and I move these objects here you can see there's a big black spot where they used to be so you can only really use this effect for objects that are going to be static and that won't be moving around in your game also for this tutorial I'm going to be using Blender version 2.72 so if you don't have that then go ahead and get it any version higher than this should be fine as well but anyway we're going to be going file new opening up a new blend file then I'm going to press SX and SZ to scale it on the Z axes and I'm just going to make a shape like I had previously so numpad 1 tab go to edit mode Z to go into wireframe and I'm just going to extrude and rotate and move this part round so we have a nice almost curved interior which we can have our bounce lighting and stuff going Okay, so just something like this to almost capture the light and have it bounce in and bounce around our objects here. Okay, so something like this. Again, you can have a whole room uh, as long as the objects in it don't move so the illusion doesn't break. Uh, but this is going to be good enough for me. Then what I'm going to do is add some objects into it as well. So I'm going to quickly go to solid mode, add myself a cube like I had before, except this time I'm going to put it in the wall. Then I might add a UV sphere as well. Put this over here. I'm going to set it to smooth shading so it looks a bit nicer. And then what else am I going to do? I might add a cylinder as well. Okay. So just three simple objects like that. Maybe I'll add another cube over here just to make it a bit more interesting. Alright, so something like that. And we'll put them all together like that. Now you can do two things here and that is select all of these sort of spare objects and join them together and just bake them by themselves and then after that you can bake the room or you can join it all together and bake the room all at once now the downside to this is you have to use a larger texture resolution uh, if you want to bake everything all at once whereas if you were to just join these pieces together by themselves then you'd have a better looking result so that's what I'm going to be doing so just joining them separately so we have one here and one here the downside to this is I'm going to have to bake each one separately okay so the next thing I'm going to do is give it some materials so over here we're going to go to the node editor and get rid of that and we're going to be giving our random objects here a new material use nodes and we're still in blender render which isn't a good start so I'm going to delete that go over to cycles render and click new material there we go move this over here and then I'm going to be adding a simple wooden texture like we had before so I'm going to go to texture image texture join that in and I'll open myself up a diffuse texture so we have some wooden textures here I think it'll be one of these that one there we go and then I'm gonna press in this 3d viewport I'm gonna press tab go to edit mode U and unwrap although before I do that I'm gonna press control a apply scale then tab edit mode U and smart UV project okay and then we're gonna make another window here go to our UV image editor and then here I'm gonna press tab and then all of this will pop up now what we're gonna be doing is pressing new for a new image and this is gonna be our texture just for our small objects here so I'm gonna make this uh, smaller so 512 by 512 and just do room objects okay and then I'm gonna click OK like that now one thing you'll notice is we have heaps and heaps and heaps of just blank space now if you think about it all of those pixels there that we could have used for baking and getting a higher resolution on they're actually being wasted just because of the way that this is sort of unwrapped 
So what you might want to do is select these pieces like from the cylinder and if you can just scale them up and making sure you stay within the boundaries just use up that extra space if you can because that is actually really valuable and many times you can forget it's there and just think your model looks terrible because you have a low resolution so just make sure you're using the space as efficiently as possible especially in the game engine this really matters because for your game to run well you don't want to have textures much higher than 1024 okay so we're going to be doing something similar to that maybe I'll move this over here okay so just almost optimizing the UV unwrap and uh, scaling this up maybe you can fit it in here somewhere and do the same over here maybe we can just leave this one here alright and just spreading it out so we have yeah a more efficient use of the space now there is still some left but I doubt I can fill that up at least proportionally so what I'm going to be doing now is go back to object mode then what I'm going to do here is press shift D with the image texture selected we can just go shift A add another one then here we're going to select our room objects image and with it selected so don't have this one selected select this one right here and then what we're going to do is go over here to GPU compute and then scroll down go to bake and down here we'll just click bake combined and up the top here will be a progress bar and then it will pop up like this now at the moment the image is quite dark so we actually if I press F12 just to render a normal image you can see what it's sort of going to look like and I think I might want some more light in my scene so here I'm going to grab this change it to sun maybe an emission of 3 turn down this to make the shadow more crisp and then here I'm going to give it a orange yellow color then also in the world settings I'm going to change this give it a slightly blue hue okay so something like that right and then we're going to press F12 just normal render see what it looks like and I'm happy with something like that what I might do is actually lean this sun lamp in so it's catching on the front of these objects here okay and something like that is good okay so now what I'm going to do is with this selected here I'm going to make sure I have this image selected and then I'm going to go to the render settings and bake combined and there we go that's looking a bit nicer now what we want to do to make sure we don't lose it is oh, scroll along here so it's a bit easier to see under image you want to go save as image and save it on your desktop somewhere then compression I'm going to turn to full and this part here very important black and white RGB or RGBA if you choose RGBA then it does an extra channel for every single pixel which means it's going to be a larger file size we don't need that because um, yeah we don't need transparent textures so I'm just going to choose RGB and then save it okay so now we have our saved image here now what we have to do is bake the environment here so this room thing so what I'm going to do here is again do the same thing um, tab or well, first of all control A apply scale and tab go to edit mode A to deselect A to select everything and then U and smart UV project click OK I will project out there maybe we can optimize it a little bit if possible although I'm not really sure if we can maybe if we move this part up a bit more give it a bit more space to use and maybe if we select this or maybe not this end move it across a bit and just give it a bit more room okay so we're using the image efficiently then what I'm going to do is make a new image so click this plus here and then this one will be called room now because I'm using the space efficiently and the room isn't too big I'm also going to be using 512 by 512 although if the room was quite large or you have lots of objects in it you want to bake together you might need to make it 1024 okay so I'm just going to do that just a room image then here I'm going to give it a new material and then I'm going to add in an image texture and again I'm going to add my texture here my image texture and then one more thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add a normal map 
Now you might think, well what's a normal map going to do? I mean, you're just baking the textures and the light, right? Well usually in the game engine, when you add a normal map, you'll be getting dark shadows and crevices along your texture. So maybe if you want to have that effect, you can add that in as well, and then Cycles will bake it all together and make it look really nice. So I'm actually going to do that. So duplicate this, and then I'm going to go ahead and find my normal map for that same texture. So all the way down here, I think this one should be fine. Okay, and then I'll add myself a texture coordinate. They're both UV anyway by default, but we'll add it in anyway under vector, normal map, and here, join that in, turn down the strength, uh, maybe around 0.5, otherwise it gets too harsh and you have really dark scratches all over it. Um, but otherwise, we're going to plug this normal into the diffuse, and that should be it. So I'm going to go back here, and then I'm going to press F12, just to do a normal render, and you can sort of see what it's going to look like. Now the shadow isn't looking too nice, so I might try turning down the amount. And something like that is starting to look a bit better. So maybe if we get something in between. There we go, so it's just showing up. Right, so I'm happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is, again, another image texture. Except this time I'm going to choose Room. And make sure you have this selected. And then you can go down here and Bake Combined. And that will bake up the top there. And there we go. Now we can go to image and save as image and then we'll save it as room on the desktop as RGB. Okay. Now one more thing which I just noticed is actually down here we have our sampling. At the moment we're only doing this at 10 which isn't very high so maybe if you have a slightly better computer you'll be able to turn this up a bit more and that will get rid of all this sort of graininess around here. So we might try bake that again with a higher sampling rate. And you can see it takes a little bit longer. And there we go, finished. And then here I'm going to go save as image, save it as the same one, overwrite, and then save that. Now I might do the same for my group of objects here. So I'm going to make sure I have this selected here. And room objects, there we go. And then I'm going to bake combined again at 50 samples. So this will take a little bit longer, depending also on the performance of your computer. But there we go, that's done. Save as image, save as the same one, compression up, and save as image. Okay, so that should be it done. Now what we can do is go out of cycles, so we can go back to the game engine. And I guess we can get rid of all of this stuff as well. Okay, so just here. Then we're going to go over to GLSL and then we'll go over to textured and then what I'm going to do is go to the materials get rid of that also for this one get rid of that and then for my environment or my room I should call it uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my material and then here I'm going to give it a image texture and I'm going to open up my image from my desktop so room I think it was just called there we go. And at the moment you see it's looking pretty terrible and there's a big streak across it. Now the reason for that is we still have the sun lamp and actually if it's baked we don't need a sun lamp so you can delete that. And now you notice it goes all black but not to worry under the texture settings here make sure you click emit as well. And there you go. Then it will be emitting out the light that would have been there previously. Okay so that is our room done. Now I'm going to add in my texture for this. So I guess we should call this room objects. And then over here, we're going to give it a new material, no specular. And scroll up, give it a new texture. And then I'm going to open up our room objects texture. So this one here. And then I'm going to scroll down and check emit, like that. OK? And there we go. That is about it. That's how to get it working. Now if I deselect it, it is looking pretty nice. Now you'll notice there is some problems, like it's fairly grainy over here. Again, increased sampling might reduce that. But you can also see how the size of the texture we've used is affecting the room itself. So maybe for the room, 
because it's so large, it would have been better to use a 1024 image. But for the objects here, it doesn't really affect them very much, and they seem to be looking pretty good. So anyway, just a quick tip on how to use Cycles Baking in the Blender Game Engine. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, or share. All of that stuff is greatly appreciated. But again, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.